Hopefully you've seen my Mac screen sharing video. If you haven't seen that, please take a look at it immediately after this video. This video is for Ecamm users, where I'll be able to show you how you can use the Mac screen sharing functionality in order to save the resources on your main computer in order to run Ecamm more efficiently. This allows you to run software applications or maybe keynote presentations on a secondary Mac whilst leaving the resources for your main Mac to run Ecamm. This is a very efficient way of working. To clarify how this is working, we are using the Mac which is right behind me here showing this teal green screen and that's the one that we'll be looking at in the remains of this video. So I'll show you now how you can use a secondary Mac to run either a software application or a keynote presentation whilst also running Ecamm. And I'll also just take this opportunity to give you a very brief how to get the screen sharing running between the two computers. So let me now switch straight to the overview. So here we are in live demo mode. The way that we can get to see the secondary Mac is to go to the button at the top for screen share or share screen as Ecamm calls it. And now in this window, we have an option where it says current application. If you click on that window, you'll see a list of the applications that are running on your computer. And one of those would be screen sharing. Click on the screen sharing and that brings up the window of the secondary Mac, the one I'm sharing the screen from. It happens to be the one right behind my shoulder here. Just for your information, I'll show you the settings to allow for screen sharing. In the system preferences, you go to the sharing button and you make sure that the screen sharing and the file sharing buttons are both ticked. You'll also very much likely want to go to the finder preferences and on the sidebar tab, you'll want to make sure that your bonjour computers here is also ticked. That will enable you to share the screen between the Macs. Please take a look at the previous video if you want to get some more information on this. Okay, back to the screen sharing option. I'll now run Keynote as an example. It could be any software application on this Mac. The advantage of using a separate Mac for such a thing is that you're then only using the resources of the secondary Mac for running that application or running the keynote presentation. And you leave your main Mac and all of its resources to run the requirements for Ecamm. This makes everything a lot more power efficient. I'll just click on the this demonstration keynote. So the screen on a Mac is not 16 by 9, which is commonly the ratio that you might be trying to broadcast on. So we can now, with Ecamm, zoom into that window. You can do that on a magic mouse just by dragging down with one finger, and that should allow you to smoothly scroll to fill the screen. If you want to move the screen up or down, just hold the shift key and do the same thing and that would allow you to perfectly position your presentation. Of course, what you can see is that I have a inset here, a picture in picture that I can turn on or off as required. 
To move from one screen to another in the presentation is simple. You just simply go to your screen share on your main Mac and just click through that and that will allow you to move and navigate between all of the slides or just simply running your software application. This uses a lot less resources on your Ecamm Mac as all of the resources are being used on the secondary Mac instead. I hope that's clear. If you like this, please click the subscribe button and I'll have some more for you in the near future.